Did I? I had to spend the entire night at the hospital. Are you okay? Are you losing your mind? What are you talking about? Amazing performance. So, how did this all come about? Or should I say, are you uh, happy with how it went tonight? The first question I will answer is, yeah, yeah. I do feel very happy tonight. Yeah. Um, Susan is very sentimental. She always wants to like do reflections and think about different things. And so, she was asking me to sort of reflect and think about, you know, how do you evaluate if we did a good job? And for me. It's like, do I believe the audience saw the show that I wanted to show them? Because mm. sometimes the idea that you have is not what the people see. Yes. Um, and so for me, I feel very happy because, you know, for better or for worse, the show that we put on tonight was the show we imagined. Like, that was it. And, uh, like, being backstage was such an amazing experience. I, I got a really good vibe. It was like you were, uh, I walked in, you were rehearsing lines, you were helping each other. Is that a conscious to do that? Like to have like a, a really calm, energetic? I, I, I would not say that it was calm. It was no? absolutely chaotic. Chaos? Absolute chaos. But our cast is so professional mm. and I'm so happy to have everybody put so much effort mm. honestly mm. when we first started to create the idea for the show i i could never even imagine that people will put so much effort mm. yeah. to the show well for me i think like <laughs> it's important for us as sort of the the co-directors and the leaders to sort of make sure that everybody on the team feels seen yeah. and appreciated Constant. for all their work and it's yes. like even if things are not going exactly how we want it to be we just want to make it clear that like no matter what at the end of the day mm -hmm. we're very grateful that people chose to say yes to this project mm -hmm. in the beginning yes. because it had never been done before yeah people had no idea what it was and you know as performers themselves you know associating with a project that is unknown is kind of a risk right you don't know like if you do it and it flops then it's like oh shit like i regret doing that so mm. the whole time for me at least i just wanted to definitely make sure people felt appreciated and supported and just comfortable yes like, even in a stressful situation where we all feel like scared and we don't know what's about to happen at the end of the day like i want to be of service to them and how can i make them feel better and a big thank you to all of you guys. Like, uh, I was just walking up. Hey, would you give me a minute of your time? Yeah, sure. So, um, how did it all come about? How, how, and how did you get these people? Because they were saying that some of them were saying that they had to audition. Um, uh. But some of them have never worked at the Pearl before. Uh -huh. yeah. So, how did it all start? Was it you guys' co-idea? Like, hey, let's do this original performance i'll say it was susan's idea for sure so i had done a show in the spring here called the new romantics right um and susan had just started working at the pearl mm. and she had seen it and was like well i i don't want to put words in your mouth but um I, can i say it yeah, yeah he had a show and i was very happy to see his show and i remember i was like wow he put his own show. I was just like, my mind like was blown away. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I need to talk to him about, hey, hey, I have this idea. Let's maybe. She was so, so we, nervous. Had you like, met before? Yeah, yeah. No, we, uh, were, we, we were working right, right. together at the yeah. Mulan Spectacular, but uh, we were just like actor singers in there, not directors together. Right. And I remember 
Actually, I still have uh, recorded audio from that day. What? You you didn't know that. Okay, so I was recording our conversation. Can that can that be a part of the the whole? Yeah. yeah so awesome. We, Send we, that through. Yeah. And we'll add it. As, Wait a uh, minute. You have. <laughs> <laughs> During our conversation, what were you, you going to do? Like, hold it again. <laughs> no, because I was... The court of law. Come on. No. No, because I, I wanted to... He said, I'm very sentimental. Oh, yes. There you go. That's Crazy. right. So, and uh, I remember we met at this alimentary at Panyolu. This is like the place that we actually created the show. Yeah. So, it was six months ago. Mm -hmm. We were making it for six months. I cannot believe that. Oh, yeah. my God. It's crazy because we were making it for six months and at the end of the day, it's just two hours. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Mm. Like, you put so much effort uh -huh. and it's over. And how long did it take to get the script together? Oh. Doing the script first, then auditioning, and then... Mm. It seems well, very time consuming. It, well, it was sort of like an evolutionary process. Mm -hmm. So, like, we had written a first draft. Right. And then we read the first draft. He was the person who was writing i it. was the person yeah we we have a perfect balance so right I'm just so so we'd written the first draft then we met and we read it we made some edits for the second draft yeah and then we met again and we read it and then we were like well let's actually rehearse with people mm -hmm. um before we make any like bigger changes so then mm. we got the team together did you have anybody in particular that you wanted to to get or was yes. it just yeah yes. we did have like some people in mind right uh, and I think that made us feel more confident mm -hmm. in the ability of the show. Like yep. we had mm. seen some performers where we were like, well, in this particular role, we know this person could do it. Yes. So I felt better about taking some of those risks because I could, you know, trust that person to to accomplish it. Right. Um, but the final draft of the script of what we performed today was probably finished like two weeks ago. <laughs> three weeks wow. Ago. Like, Especially like for all the monologues in Cell Block Tango, yeah. like those were that was a constant like back and forth of like editing, trying and it out, trying it out, yes. and because that one it had to be with the dancers as well. So the mm -hmm. he only had himself to blame. If you have been there, if you have seen it, I've Queen. Uh huh. You filled in for Exania yeah. while she was sick. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Where do you yeah. sleep? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how you did it. Like, it's insane. Obviously, it must have been a big passion project for you. Oh, for sure. If you're doing all these other things, yeah. you're still. Yeah, I think if I hated it, we wouldn't have made it this far. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, and then was it easy to convince uh, Grant to to get this thing going? I will say that it was it was easy to convince Grant to trust us with a new show because he believes in us and what we do. The back. So that part was never sort of in question. Mm. But the thing that I think made him feel nervous was that it was a brand new show mm -hmm. that no right. one's ever yeah. seen. And like, yes. how do we make sure people know what the show is? Because yes. I have to admit, one thing that I learned from the new romantics was that it's very important for people to know what the show is before they come and see it. Mm. And so I tried to apply those lessons learned from there to this project to help everybody feel a lot more confident about like what even is this show mm. and how can we sell it to people and make sure that people are at the end of the day feeling like they w what they paid their money for they actually got rather than like oh I thought I was going to go and see this and what I really saw was this mm -hmm. and mm. you know that sort of disconnect and I think this is a perfect moment to bring our amazing Angela yeah because she is the one who literally <laughs> did the video for our promotion. She yes. did the pictures. Yes. She was literally doing everything to like last night, helping us with clues, uh -huh. with everything. Mm. Wow. 2, 3 a.m., Angela was like, oh, yes, yes, I, I'm gonna do it right now. You finish it off. It's mm. so, just clap, clap, amazing. It's just a big shout out to the Pearl team. There you go. Yeah, I do feel like, like the- That's a machine. The Pearl team really helped bring it all together I mean, in yeah. ways that like we could not 
sort of shoulder on our own. Mm. I especially want to give a shout out to Eric because Eric <laughs> saved our life. Amazing. On many occasions. Amazing. Yes. Uh, and like people were coming up to me just now, like after the show being like, I didn't even know the lights could do that. Exactly. And I was like, me neither. <laughs> exactly. Me neither. <laughs> but he came in and he showed us how it was done. So I felt very, very good about that. I think this week I came to the Pearl like super early. And then five minutes after I came, Eric is there. I'm like, oh, mm. interesting. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm here to do the light <coughs> show that we, the first scene, actually, it's a light show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Yeah. In, I was so impressed because he put so much effort. He stayed with us very late. till very, very late. Most yeah. of the people are just like, nah, I don't care anymore. Uh -huh. He Still stayed the there. Mm. He put like 100% yeah. of everything that he can give to the show and I'm so thank and you so much Eric <laughs> another thing about that light show too was that like we knew kind of in our minds what we wanted for that but we are not lighting designers exactly. yeah. Lighting yeah technicians yes. so when 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 we were trying to broach that idea I was nervous because we've worked with people in the past where it was like I will do literally exactly what you tell me but nothing else. So yeah. if you don't exactly tell me what it needs to be, I will not do it. And so it. I was nervous. I was like, okay, well, how can I talk to Eric about doing this light show? Like, will he understand what we're going for? What do we need to do? And then the day that we were programming mm -hmm. all the lights, he was suddenly there and he was like, this is what I got. Exactly. Let me show you. And yeah. then it was like, oh, that's exactly what we wanted. Actually, you, I was glad that he was willing to put his artistry into it as well. Mm. You know? I w yeah, exactly. I would describe it what we were trying to do, we were trying to give him a feeling mm. of what we want. Yes. And he was like, okay, I got it. You know, so the feeling and it's just, you know, it's very, how to say, it's hard to describe, but he got it. Mm -hmm. Just, he, he just got it. That's amazing. Lights, music, but you had everything involved in it. It wasn't just like a script that was dancers. It was. Yes. So uh, when you were doing that, what were you looking for uh, people that, uh, on the cast? To be honest, as soon as we started writing it, we knew exactly who we wanted to ask to mm. do it. So we... Tell us about some of them. So, for example, for the role of Serena, we knew, we knew it was yeah, going to be deep. We knew for sure. Yeah. Right. Like, nobody else yes. could do what what Dee does because Dee is able to not only do drag but also sing live. Right. Gotcha. So yes. it was like that is a special talent that we wanted to showcase. And the comedic talent. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. incredible. It's, uh, uh, it's something that I've it's never such seen a special talent. You cannot fake it. Mm. You can't. I've never seen him do any of those shows like this. I've only seen him at the improv. I ah. saw him there. I saw him there last weekend. Oh. And it's like I saw him there last night. Very different. And tomorrow he's going to be Jack Sparrow, so please come to the Pearl. Wow. <laughs> yes, in Pirates of the Pearl. So he can play the full spectrum. Exactly. Right. Yeah, so it was it was sort of like that. I think for us, though, the hardest role to find was Nancy. Yeah. Right. Because in, in my mind, I had one actress picked out, somebody that I knew. Mm. But then suddenly um, she let us know that she was not available. She bailed on us. Uh, Say it how it is. Okay, okay. Well, how far into the project? We were about to start rehearsals. Wow. But to okay, but to her credit, I do want to say that when we first she set out to on us. okay, <laughs> yes, but when we did first set out to do the show, we were supposed to. We initially had the the idea that we would do the show in September right. or mm -hmm. October, and so when eventually it did get changed to November, mm. suddenly she said, oh, sorry, I, I don't know if I'll have the time to be able to do that. So that kind of sent us into yeah. despair because I think the role of Nancy is very difficult. It's a mm. bilingual acting part. And other than me is probably the character that was on the stage for the longest. Yes. So mm. it was a big time commitment with a really high threshold of talent. Mm. Like you couldn't just be anybody off the street. You had to have lots of skills to do the role yeah. and you had to accept, you know, the the budgetary offers that we were able mm -hmm. to give, which, you know, is not a great mix. Yeah. So we were asking around different people and we luckily got the recommendation mm -hmm. from a friend of mine named Paul. He was mm. like, I've worked with Chen before. 
I think she could be a good fit. Why don't you meet with her and talk with her about that? And for us, I think it was love at first sight. It was like 100%. the minute that Chen entered the room, we were like, oh, yeah, that's Nancy. Like, that's her. Got it. And gotcha. I think this was the universe telling us something right because I do think that gotcha. Chen really knocked the role out of the park. So the, the most difficult part for this character, because it's only character that breaks the fourth wall. Mm. She is that uh, between mm. actors and audience. She is only one that can kind of uh, travel in these realms. We were looking for somebody who can easily transition from these places. And honestly, today, I, I, I didn't see it. I heard it. Yes. Her last monologue, I was almost in tears. Like, I yes. was like, oh, I got chills. Mm. Um, I, I was like, this is the best choice that we could ever ever make and i have to tell you she was with us from every mm. single rehearsal from yeah. okay we're directing it we're first here right so she was there every single day every single time mm. she was helping with everything literally everything yeah. i i know that you're going to listen to this well, i, I love you so much <laughs> well i need to <laughs> no, you yeah. are amazing yeah she's um, Definitely one of the MVPs. And when, when I was talking to her just then, worried about her grammar and being able to speak uh, clearly, oh, I hope they could understand me in English. And I said, you knocked it out of the ballpark. Uh -huh. uh, there's no problem. Not, not even a thought of... I think that's the moment when I need to shout out to Trenton. <laughs> 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 because today, and I told you yesterday, by the way, like the choices that he made... For some acting parts, I was like, I was like, how is it even possible? It sounds like music, mm. like the change in, in intonation. Unfortunately for me, I cannot do the same because English is not my first language. So, and I was like, he said, can I repeat exactly what he did? And I'm like, I can't. Mm. Amazing. Well, then Amazing. training, we'll do that. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much for being so nice to me. And she also told me that she was a part of improv as well. So oh, ten, yeah. another one with the improv. So yeah, that's a common theme, but that's so good because yeah. watching the improv is so hard. It's really difficult yeah, like, to do. That's why when you said that she was the glue, that's why I really feel like, again, the universe was presenting us with her because when you have that improv experience, I immediately trusted her to be able to say exactly. whatever she needed to say exactly. to the audience. Like I could give her two words, like go out there and say this. And she'd be like, great, I can do that. Rather than being like, what's the line? I need Some to memorize the line exactly. That she came out yesterday, actually, at the last rehearsal that we had, I was laughing so much. <laughs> uh. I could not like specifically the line where she said, Oh, I'm a detective Howard, and like uh. I did this, 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 and yeah, I solved my cases with a uh, whiskey. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my god, just keep it there. It's amazing. Mm. Really cool. What I what I really liked the show is the interaction between the show and the fans. How they got yeah. to vote. Mm. Amazing idea. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, we knew that we wanted to sort of play with this idea that, you know, results of the show should mm. somehow be in the hands of the audience, right? Yeah. And how do we integrate that the best way? I think it started actually with the fact that we wanted to have like open ending. Yes. Originally, we wanted to have three different endings for the show. Uh -huh. We just realized yeah. it's going to be a little bit too difficult right. to do that. So, but today, honestly, I was very surprised mm. for the results. And but yeah, I mean, I I think that it was it was a point of though it's, because it's a real good selling point. But well, that's what I think too. Like I thought it would be exactly. like this is like a very unique, exciting mm. thing to do. Whereas when we were like pitching the idea, the biggest thing was like. Well, why would people do this? Why yeah. are people interested in this? And luckily, Susan yes. has experience and lots of contacts within sort of like the murder mystery scene mm. or like the the sort of detective party scene. Like, uh, shout out to Detective Shanghai, especially to Zhenya. Yes. So <laughs> now I'm doing another we, promotion. 
we actually, when we were writing the script, we sent the first draft of the script to another a guy, Jen Yates. He was the one who sort of generated those from the story that we wrote, but he was like, this is how you could make it an interesting sort of that, clue. Though, but yes. <laughs> well, we changed little bits, yeah, but we, we, I would say for the most part, we took yes. it. Yes, yes. Um, and we were nervous because like, we hadn't done it before. We didn't know if people during the breaks were going to just like throw the sheet and like not give a shit. Mm. Or but if they but were that was really the thing it. that like, I wanted personally because I love murder mystery. I, mm. I just love it. The idea was how we can make the show that will have everything. Mm. Like singing, dancing, acting, and involvement of people mm. to like find out the story. Mm. And when today the results came out, honestly, I was shocked. Man. Well, I, I think it shows that it, was, it shows that it it shows that they were into the story. They were listening. They were taking in the clues. Wait, wait, can like, you check that? I really want to oh, read the, the results. The yeah, the results. results. Yeah. I mean, the the results. I mean, it's, some of them were closer than I would think. Well, that's why I feel that this show, whatever, every time if you see it, it can it's be, gonna different be different. Ending. Ending exactly. Be different. That was yeah. the idea that we, yeah. we made. Because yeah. it depends on how I feel today. If yeah. I want to act it this way, or this way, or that <laughs> way, or it doesn't matter. So this is the result. So for Lucy Anderson, 32 guilt, or 86% Percent. guilty, 13% innocent. How could you do that to me? <laughs> I can't believe. For Nina Morgan, it was 40% guilty, 60% innocent. Ooh. So that was a little closer. And then oh the, my God. the closest of all was 46% guilty for Serena and 54% innocent. Right. So just barely. And just a little thing too. Uh, but there was all uh, different clues out there and there was all people were searching. Yes. And yes. in the first break, uh, I went to get it. Put the microphones on a chair okay. and then there was people... Grabbing it, going, oh, is this a clue? Is this a clue? <laughs> and here, I am. and then they started walking away with it. It's like, hey, that's mine. No, this is not. This is not mine. Oh my god! So, thank you for telling me. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. You know, there was a clue over by that chair, but nobody yeah. found it. Oh. Very little yeah, people we're found not, it. We're not gonna. We're there you not go. Reveal this. No, but there's a clue. Uh, by you the should chair. come to the show next time. A lighter. And they were trying to find fingerprints. Uh, so uh, the people were the people that were near me, and that that was, the group that were in front of me were like, "Oh, I think it was her." And what do you think? Well, I yeah. think. It was, and it's like this is exactly well, what we were talking about when we were writing the show. Yeah, yeah. Like I will say, during Cell Block Tango, my role is very simple at that time. I'm just sitting at the desk, but I'm like looking at the audience as you guys were doing your monologues, mm -hmm. and people were listening and people were reacting to everything that I you saw said. That. And I they were saw like, oh, "Yeah, I told you." Exactly. Like you know, I different know. stuff like that. So I know. Oh my god. We had them like, hooked, right? Yes, like they were in for yes. the story. They were ready to to figure it out. And then when the results come out, it was a ooh uh, ah oh. Yeah. So, like the feeling of this whole story overall mm. um at least for me is like you actually never know what person has inside mm. you can look very pretty and mm. act certain way poker face mm -hmm. well not maybe poker face maybe smiley face yeah yeah and then actually you're smiling through the pain you have your reasons mm. and you're doing something bad or Otherwise, you're looking very, uh, I don't know, people don't like you, for example, because mm -hmm. you're famous. Mm -hmm. And actually, you're a nice person. So th there is, I truly believe that there is no good or bad. There's mm. great. Yeah. There's very, like, humans, we are not good or bad. We're both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why... I really wanted audience to decide who is guilty, who is not. Because mm -hmm. to me, this is this is like a experiment. I want to see them to choose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, depends on how I can feel. I can I can maybe next time I'm gonna play Lucy. Uh, right. You know, very innocent. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be like really. And fine. you could change it up each time. Exactly. And That's, you could have all the interaction like in between, like. Who do you think did it? Who do you think have someone? That was the uh, idea. Yeah. Exactly. That was the idea that people should think mm. in the breaks, mm -hmm. not just eating salad. 
<laughs> nah. <laughs> they were thinking. We were we were taking a DD one time from my house to the Pearl for a practice because we were putting a lot of pressure on ourselves because mm. this show meant so much to us and mm. it meant so much to the people who invested their time and talent and yeah. money into it. Yeah. And we were just really pushing ourselves to create the best possible thing that we could. But I had sort of did have to remind Susan, like, you know, in, in what we do and, and in the situation that we are in, like... Sometimes we are just the entertainment that people choose to look up at while they eat a salad in the dark. And like, we have to accept that that is the reality of our situation. But if we can give them something more than that, then that's on yeah. us. But they're not expecting that, right? So, so, so I literally ask you to write it down. <laughs> and he actually did. And I have this quote in my phone because I think it's just hilarious quote. <laughs> well, so, so it's just like, you know, like at the bare minimum, like I think what we set out to do was always going to be above and beyond what was expected of us, yes. right? And so the pressure to achieve that, we should just know is from inside of us mm. and not from an external force, right? Mm. Like at the bare minimum, we really delivered and mm. everything on top of that is just because we did it. Yeah. I truly feel like we wrapped a little bit of steak in the McDonald's uh, <laughs> uh, wrapping uh, today. <laughs> the people were eating. They yeah, were eating the good. people were eating, people and were eating I guess good. they were surprised about, ooh, isn't that a steak? Yeah. Oh, uh, I wanted some McDonald's, but this is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think that 20 minutes, too, was just long enough for you guys to get ready for the next, but yeah. also Shout enough to time Italy, to... Who was, like, <laughs> losing his brain. Yeah. Uh, because we were like, oh, let's start at this time. And he's like, no, <laughs> no, I need to do this. He was, do this, he was do doing this. so many things today. Yeah. Thank you so much. He was running from the first floor to the third oh, <laughs> to turn right. on the clues. So we would call this a successful night. I would. Where do we go to next? Well, I believe we should be getting some extra dates. I want more too. I yes. want this show to be here every single day of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow. Every like every it's, single. That's day. quite a lot. <laughs> okay. I yeah. believe we will have more dates for sure. Good. I hope. So please, this is ASMR time. <laughs> no, it's not ASMR. It's ASMR time. <laughs> Just get your tickets next time when you will see. <laughs> exactly what the woman said no. yeah. but yeah i mean i feel good about it i think we got some good reviews yeah papa g seems happy yeah so as long as he's happy we're happy exactly and Period. we had kurt mabry in there from the zach uh, smack improv saying how wonderful it was just before we go uh, uh you are both very prominent at the pearl mm. uh, but besides the pearl oh, well you can talk about the pearl as well my first show was the the Queen show. Oh, so uh, yes. when I found out that was you, it was like, wow. Wait, but Queen show what year? That matters. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely matters. If 2019. It was... Okay, 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 okay. That was a different time. That was a different <laughs> me. That was a different, you know. Things. Why? Well. Uh, it's just, you know, you should come and see the Queen Show now. It's uh, much better. I have. It's much I have, and it's, it's You should amazing. come. To, oh, well, you amazing. went to Mulan Spectacular. Yes, I've been to the Mulan Spectacular. Mm. <clears throat> At the Pearl, we do all sorts of stuff. I mean, I've done the Queen Show for the last, you know, Did four years everything. now. Do the ABBA shows. We work a lot with, um, you know, when we do Mulan Spectacular, that's with Coco Santi. And Kokosanti also does different types of like cabaret shows. Mm -hmm. The people will buy the tickets. Mm. That's sort of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a, it's a good yeah. time. It's a yeah. good time. I'm working at the Pearl since April mm. as a resident with uh. Visa. <laughs> uh, but I actually did the shows for the Pearl years ago. And yesterday was the 10th anniversary that yeah. we performed. Oh, and you yeah. could see my old poster there that I did not expect to see. It was a great but show. I did. Really cool. Yeah. Thank you. I came to China in 2012. So I have wow. very long. Yeah. 
I've been here for a long time and I COVID. was working as a performer all this time. So I'm very glad to join the Pearl team um, now. And I am very glad that since we met, I think it was like seven or eight. No, it was like seven or eight months. Mm-hmm. So this last six months, we, we were creating this show and today it's finally here. Can you do this as a full time job? Yeah. Do what? Performing. Performing. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. It's a lot of like, because, okay, to be completely honest, I'm kind of actually new to this. Mm. I'm not like new to performing, but I'm new to like only performing for money. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot of like praying and hoping that the numbers at the end of the month Mm -hmm. are what they need to be yes. in order to pay for the, all the different things that you need to pay for. But that's why the Pearl is so great because they're very supportive and, you know, they give us dates as they come. And so, yeah, what you'll probably find is that it is possible, but you just sort of, it's like, um, it's like a quilt. Mm. Like you don't just get like one sheet and like, that's your income. Like you have to like do this little patch and this little patch and this yeah. little right. patch. And then you add it all together and that's what sort of makes it come that, through. That's such a, Awesome way to live. What was the hardest thing to do from going from a uh, uh, like a performer to a director? Not having Hermione Granger amulet. You know, when she could uh, be at two places at the same time. Got it. Because, <laughs> like, to me, this is my first show that mm. we directed and produced. Mm. Yeah. Does it make you feel any different? Of course. It's a milestone of my life. Uh, yes. So the one thing for people that want to be a performers, it's like, don't go to directing. <laughs> as long as you know what you, like, as long as you know exactly what you have to do. Because to me, Trenton was like calming me down all day because it's not his first <laughs> show. It's first my show for me. And he was like, that's all right. Come down. Come down. That's and I was of... freaking out because, like, you know, every little beat, there are so many things that you're thinking of. Like, usually when you're just, a, like, not just a performer, when you, when you know, okay, I need to sing this, I need to act this. I'm going to give 100% of my effort into mm. these two things. Mm. But then just, like, zoom it out, and you're like, oh, but this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. Yes. Like, Hermione, just give me your medallion. I mm. need it right now. Mm. And I actually want to ask you a question, Trenton. Oh. <laughs> We're switching. In the hot seat. Yeah. So Pressure's how on. was it to, because I was behind the curtains. Uh. And you were like in front of the curtains. Uh. How did it felt for you? For me, I definitely think that I was just plugged in from the moment that the first line started through like from the beginning and the end of each set. Like I didn't have time to stop and ask, like, is this good? Do people like it? Like, I wasn't worried about that. I was just like trying to remember what I was doing and like staying in focus in the scenes with, you know, Chen and everybody else. So, yeah, that's what I I felt a little bit actually relieved that I was on stage the whole time because I was not expected to solve any crazy problems. Right. Like, if, <laughs> like, for example, if something like went very wrong, my job was to stay in character on stage, not solve the problem. Got it. So other people backstage were the ones that would have to solve that problem. There you so go. I felt like fine. I felt good. <laughs> um, at the end of this Anything. podcast, I just want to thank Trenton, of course. Now that you're directors, what advice would you give to someone that wants to do this sort of work? My advice, it's not only for directors, it's for everybody. Mm. Be open to any opportunity that comes to you and just say yes. Mm. Like, try it out. I know it sounds weird, but actually, I think seven months ago, in my phone, I wrote down like a list of things that I want to happen to me till the end of this year. That's great. And 90% of them happened. 90%. Amazing. So just like universe, 
is going to help you if you're following your path. So just yeah. do what you love and it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. Like, this is, guys, it works. <laughs> I guess my advice would just to be even if you are the director or like you are the sort of the the top of the whatever like you're only going to be successful if you put together the right team. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. the 100%. the only re I was just saying this to 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 Katie and Chen inside like we were only able to be successful because we could trust them to do what we knew that they could do. And so like and we could trust each other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's just surround yourselves with people that you trust and with people that are driven and you'll be fine. Can you see this show going on the road? Last question. Like she says, we will follow every opportunity presented. We will Guys, follow the path. If you want, if you want the, I'm going to take this opportunity right now. If you're listening to this and you want to see our show somewhere else, <laughs> we're absolutely down. <clears throat> A lot of my uh, followers are from Australia. Mm. So have you been to Australia? Love Sydney. Oh, tell me about I love Sydney. I would love to. You need to get down there. I want to, if anybody's offering PR, like, I'm <laughs> available. <laughs> Where did you go to in Australia? So Sydney? I literally, I was just in Sydney and All I was right. there for a week and I was just blown away by how happy everybody was, mm. how the weather was amazing, how the food was delicious and affordable, uh, seeming. And yeah, it was, it was great. We should go. Get down there. <laughs> Guys, thank you for the opportunity. Amazing show. Thank you so much. N not only that, we're really nice people as well. You as and, well. Uh, yes. You're very kind. Just go so